Hello and welcome to the Companion Talk. With me today is Martina, our Partner of Success Manager in the Dark Region at Companion. Our topic today is the new Microsoft Cloud Partner Program, or in short, MCPP. Martina, why is Microsoft making a new Cloud Partner Program? Yeah, thanks, Eric, uh, for the question and also a very warm welcome from my side. Um, yeah, to your question, at least since 2011, Microsoft focused um, on its cloud first strategy, starting with Office 365 in 2011 and then later on CRM, AX and also Business Central. And therefore, I think it was a matter of time that Microsoft would adapt also its partner program to this strategy and the pandemic has now accelerated this. Does the MCPP changes also have an impact on the new commerce experience or universal code initiative? Um, yeah, it's more uh, the way that all the three topics follow the same um, strategy, you can say, um, supporting partners on their way to the cloud. Um, that's a overall topic or goal. Moving existing licenses to the NCE licensing model helps partners with their cloud business, uh, just as much as the implementation of the universal code initiative. And every piece of this cloud business helps partners in the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program. It's like a puzzle where all pieces come together, you can say. How is the partner program changed? Can it be more specific? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, basically, it's not a complete change of the partner program. It's more a structural change, um, you can say, and a kind of reorientation that affects many details. Too many to cover them all here today. Um, but the most important things partners need to know are, um, first, there will be six solution partner status in the future instead of 18 competencies like it was in the past. And business applications, including Power Platform, will be one of these solution status. And the second partner uh, part, partners must achieve at least um, 70 out of 100 points to qualify themselves as a solution partner. In the mm. new program, the points are called Partner Capability Score, or PCS for short. And uh, the third, these PCS can be achieved in three categories, so performance, skilling, and customer success. And they are the same in every solution area, but weighted differently in each. But most important, and uh, you can imagine this because of the name already, um, only mm. cloud business do count for points in this new status. But as I said before, there are much more details and impacts. And the best uh, thing to do is to contact your partner account manager at Companion uh, to clarify uh, de the details together here. So these are very challenging changes. Do you think the partners will achieve this? Uh, Yes, absolutely. Uh, many partners uh, are already much further along in the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program than they know or than they think. Um, therefore, I recommend each partner to check the Partner Center first. Um, there you see already the current progress regarding the points, also when the program is not yet started, because it will start in October. And just in case you as a partner are really at the beginning of this journey, do not panic. The goals are very challenging in some details, that's correct, but there is a transition period and with this you have time to reach these goals. So if I was a partner, where would you recommend me to start? You mean after checking the progress in the partner yes. center today? Yes. Um, yeah, start with skilling or with certification. It is the easiest area to plan for and therefore the, exactly the point where you should start from. Um, there is still time until October. We are currently assuming that there will be adjustments made by Microsoft, but it will come. So the whole strategy will not change um, simply because it's an integral part of this cloud first strategy. So my best advice for partners is to find their way into the strategy step by step. And of course, no partner needs to face this challenge alone. Um, we at Companion will support you here. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Martina, for the insights and what partners need to know about MCPP. And thanks for listening in and follow us under the hashtag Companion Talking for our next hot topic. Goodbye.